everybody and welcome back to Pony Sparkle Toys. My name is Reby and today I'm doing a requested video. You might be wondering what requested video is it? Because not many of my subscribers request videos that often. But someone said to me about two months ago to draw my OC Swirly Pop, you know, do a tutorial on how to draw my Swirly Pop OC. Yeah, Swirly Pop is her name. So today I have got yellow, because she's obviously yellow. Some paper. Colouring in pencils. So I'm going to draw Swirly Pop and you guys get to learn how to draw her. So my tutorial might not be the best is Draw So Cute, you know that YouTube channel, but at least I'm trying. This is my first tutorial on how to draw a mouse pony. I've drawn ponies on my channel, but I've never done the tutorial. So now I'm going to start. Number one, the first important thing to draw swirly pop a pencil has to be sharp it can't be blunt otherwise it won't work properly a rubber or as the americans say eraser but i like to say rubber because i'm not from america and of course paper i kind of already said this kind of stuff at the beginning of the video but just to let you know this for number one you have to have these utensils. I mean, you could use a pen, but if you make a mistake, you'd have to start all over again. So I would advise using a pencil, but if you want to use a pen, you can. I'm not forcing you to use a pencil, but a pencil's a lot better in case you accidentally make her ear too big and then you need to rub it out. So, what I personally like to do is I like to start with the ear. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw the ear. So, I'm going to start with her ear. If you think your ear is a bit too big or a bit too skinny, use your rubber. Now we are going to draw the inside of her ear, which is curved. Here's Swirly Pop's ear, but we're nowhere near done. I'm just going to make it a bit more curved. Perfect. Now we're going to start doing her head. I'm just going to make it go round. And then down, this is her forehead area and this is where I'll draw her fringe. But let's stop here and draw her horn because you know Swirly Pop is a unicorn. So let's draw her unicorn horn. It doesn't matter if you make your horn a bit bigger than mine as long as she has a horn. Now let's do some lines. You can do two, three, four. I'm going to stick with three. Okay, so her forehead might look a little big, so don't judge. I think I'm going to rub it out just a little bit. I would say the most important thing is the horn and the colours. Because if you use the wrong colours, then she won't be swirly pop. If you don't use her horn, she also won't be swirly pop. But it doesn't matter if her horn is too long or her head is really skinny. It doesn't matter if she's fat or skinny. Just as long as you use the right colours and the horn, obviously. So now, I'm just going to be drawing her nose. Perfect. Now, if you want, you can draw her with your with an open mouth, but I'm not going to. Next, we're going to do her nostril, which is like a smile. And then we're going to do a big smile and a cheek line. You can leave the cheek line out if you want, but 
I wanted to add the cheek line in. Now, here comes her eye shape. Her eyes are not round. Even though my profile picture shows Swirly Pops her eyes round, her eyes are not round. They're the shape of rarity, they almond shaped. So, let's do the almond shape. Now, I'm only going to do one eye because there's not like enough space for her other eye. Because we know we're going to draw her fringe and everything. So, let's do her eye almond shape. So we're going to do round, and then we're going to go up, and then we're going to go round again. Perfect. She has three eyelashes at the top. So, one. So, if you don't know how to draw her eyes, why don't you look at a picture of Rarity? Because her eye shape is the exact same. But she doesn't have blue eyeshadow, so don't go drawing in the blue eyeshadow because Swirly Pop has no blue eyeshadow. Now her eye looks a little bit skinny, but it doesn't matter if her eyes are a bit skinny or a bit fat. Now we're going to do the colour bit. So we're going to do a curve that goes round, and then we're going to do another curve, and then we're going to do two lines. The reason why the two lines in there is because that, that in the middle will be a bit darker and the rest will be a bit lighter. So now we're going to do the light reflections. Big circle, little circle. Remember, big circle, little circle. We keep those two circles white and on the inside it will be black. Now we're going to start with her fringe. So, we're going to go from her ear, going to go round like that. This really pops fringe. Now I know there's a big line in the middle, which is where her forehead was. I'm going to keep that in because she has four different stripes of hair. So, she has yellow, blue, lilac, and green. I'm going to make this one yellow. And then, so one, two, three, four. There we go. Four stripes. We have finished her head, so I've just realised that this line is a bit too long because we're now going to start with her body and we don't want her body to start from here, no. So I'm just going to rub half of it off. That's why you need a rubber and that's why it's better if you use a pen. So and not a pen. There we go. Now we're going to do her body. So I know, now let me just say, I know I've drawn Swirly Pop in my calendar before April last year, but it was a speed drawing and colouring. This is an actual tutorial. And someone, I'm not sure who it is, but someone said two, about two or three months ago that I could draw Swirly Pop in the tutorial. So here it is. So let me just make that a little more curved. And now we're going to do her actual body so we're going to do a line like this and it goes in there you go that's like her tummy part now what we are going to do is we are going to do her hooves it doesn't matter if you make them a bit longer than me or a bit shorter than me it doesn't matter rounding it up and then, I'm going to put her second hoof in front, and then just go around. There we go. Perfect. Now, her fringe doesn't look as perfect as my profile picture. If you want, you can copy my profile picture and just look now and then look at it profile picture, look at what I'm doing. You're allowed to do that. Now, we're going to do her tummy area. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do 
is we're going to do the hair that comes down. Because you know Swirly Pops quite a bit of hair. Perfect. Now, I'm going to do some more hooves. Now the rest of her body, going around. I think I just made that hoof a bit too big. So I'm going to rub that out. Start again. Oh, just going to keep fixing that. If you really want to make your swirly pop perfect, you can keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing until you think it's perfect. But I wouldn't advise that. Your first try is your only good try, in my opinion, because everyone's good at drawing. Now, you're going to see quite a few lines here. It's because I keep rubbing that cuff out because I keep thinking it's a bit too thick and a bit too um big but that's just my opinion and now we're gonna do her tail there isn't that much space for her tail but we'll work with it so we're going to start up here we're gonna go up down rounding in there's her tail. Now we need the lines for her main part and for her tail. She has four different colors. And if you've forgotten the colors, they're yellow, blue, green, and lilac. So we need to make sure. Now it doesn't matter if you accidentally make one of the stripes humongous, as long as there's four stripes and as long as there's enough for four colors. So one. Two, three, and four. So, one, two, three, and four. Perfect. Now let's do her kitty mark. This is Swirly Pop's kitty mark. The lines don't look that even. It's okay if they don't look that even. It doesn't matter if the yellow side is the biggest one, or if the green one the biggest one, or if the red one biggest one. As long as there's six colors. Going round in a swirl because she is swirly pop. So draw that lollipop, but smaller. I think I made that just a bit too big, but it doesn't really matter. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. There we go. And guys, there you have it, your swirly pop. Finally, it took quite a while, but I finally colored in swirly pop. So, as you can see, the yellow for her body and for her mane and for her tail slightly different now i know the yellow here for her tail looks kind of the same as the yellow for her body it's because i accidentally used the dark yellow and then i colored over with lighter yellow so yep and you can't really tell that there's a lighter bit that lighter bit kind of looks the same color as the darker bits but oh well so my swirly pop doesn't look it's perfect as my purple picture, but oh well, maybe yours will be better than mine. So thank you for watching, and remember to stay magical. Bye!